Hey guys, I wanted to just make a quick video on um, how I design my flags and easel. Um, pretty basic video here. I'm seeing on some of the forums I belong to uh, people complaining about a four hour carve time for a flag. So I just wanted to share with some of the beginners out there how to pick your flag apart, creating different pages um, and inputting different bits for each page to be more efficient. Um, so I first started with making a master flag file. Uh, you can see down here I have the multiple pages. Um, every time I'm going to design a new flag I pull this file up and I just go ahead and make a copy of it um, and rename it. Um, but you can see I have the stripes on a page the stars on, on their own page. And then here um, I have these stripes where they're, I can grab a stripe and remove it if my design needs that. I don't know that I've used that option yet, but um, I always keep my stars on their own page because I know I'm going to use the 60 degree bit. Um, and just to mention also, I know for that bit that I'm using 0.38 depth is where I get the best shape of star. The points are good um, and that's going to change depending on which bit you're using. I have another 60 degree bit that um, the 0.38 doesn't work for so it really just depends on your bit. Some people use the 90 degree so that will again be different. You'll just have to kind of play around uh, with your bit and determine what gives you the best star shape. So I'll go over here and this is a project I created for the local barbershop. Um, I usually start my design on this page here with just the stripes, uh, knowing I'm going to cut the stars separate. So I will put the picture on top of the stripes, whether it's a military symbol or a branch insignia, um, and create an offset. The offset is important so you don't have the stripes running into the picture. Um, that would just make it a little bit muddy. So on this project, I created a font on top of the picture and I also put the offset behind the font as well. Uh, the offsets can be created here in the app section. Um, hopefully, if you're watching this video, you've already created a flag and you're just wanting to become more efficient with your carve. Um, oh, another thing to mention too is with the stripes, you can see they run off the project a little. I've learned that to um, just to pull them a little bit longer than the work project. So when the bit's carving, you don't get that kind of curved edge at the end. It's just gonna go straight all the way off the work piece. So something to mention. Um, once I've created the picture on top of the stripes, you come down here and duplicate the page a couple times. Um, making sure to keep a copy uh, untouched just in case you screw something up or you need to refer back to something. Um, so on this page, let's plan on using this one for the stripes. So I'm going to delete everything that I don't want to cut on this page. So you want to leave the offset on there again so the stripes don't cut all the way through the picture. Um, you go up here and, and choose your bits. This is an older project, so I can't remember what I used, the quarter inch and uh, maybe the sixteenth, um, probably to get kind of get some of this detail around the offset, um, the barber pole here. Um, so then I would pull this page up. And now on this page, let's plan on carving the picture itself. So you want to just delete the stripes. Um, picking your bits up here again, probably like an eighth inch, and I'll leave it at the 60. Um, I like to pull the picture up here and just kind of see how much detail I'm getting. That helps me determine which bit to use. And also the carve time will help me determine which bit um, I use to so at this point, you would put your um, workpiece down on your machine, carve your stars, um, pull this page up, switch your bits, carve this, and then do the same, switch your bits, carve this page. Um, 
because we duplicated the same page, we know that our picture is going to line up exactly where we want it on top of this offset and on top of the stripes. Um, so that seems to be the best way that I have learned how to create the flags in Easel. Um, Easel is a great program for beginners. It's to me was very user friendly, um, a low learning curve. And it just took some tweaking to learn the ins and outs. And um, I wished I would have had a, an easy, simple video back when I was learning how to design the flags. So I just thought I'd share what I've learned with you all and um, hope that it helps for some of you beginners out there. Um, I do plan on creating another video on how to carve rounds um, that you can find at some of the big box stores. I seem to see a lot of questions on the forums um, regarding that as well. Uh, just trying to um, share how to zero your X and Y on a round piece. So watch for that video. Um, happy carving!